So quick tour, I just moved in about a week ago. Um, so I wanted to show the space as it is now. Um, this is the kind of entrance uh, area, the foyer. Uh, you come in, it's pretty tight, actually. I didn't have any issue getting any furniture in though, with the exception of a dining room table, which you'll see here in a minute. Laundry area, we got a stackable washer and dryer, but plenty of space here. I kind of have a few things in here that I'm gonna maybe get rid of uh, in the near future, but shelving there, um, functional, kind of enough space for everything that I need. We swing this way, we immediately are met, greeted by the kitchen. Get back here, give you guys a good view. There's a bar. It's kind of an alleyway kitchen, except it's exposed more, got the island. Dual trash cans here. There's a closet. Just some stuff I've thrown in there for now. Um, this rug is probably seven feet, so that just kind of gives you some sort of measure um, as far as the space is concerned. Um, the island here, quartz countertops, got all the essentials, the machines here. We got the blender, the toaster, the Keurig, which was a gift to me here recently. I've got the Ninja Air Fryer. It also roasts reheats, dehydrates, bakes, and air broils. So something that I lean on for uh, quick meals throughout the week. Here we just have plates, bowls, glassware, a couple mugs. Then on this side here, we have spices, and then we have some uh, travel containers, they're a mixer for drinks, cocktails, uh, thermoses, sorts of things. Stove, everything stainless steel, microwave. We got the refrigerator here. The runners from Ralph Lauren, actually all the rugs are, which you'll see throughout. Just got a few different kinds of salmon there, some marinated chicken breast, uh, Trader Joe's. If you haven't been there, check them out. Some more stuff from Whole Foods, juice, potatoes. Google Homes throughout as well. I got the smaller screens. So yeah, that's the kitchen area. Another runner here from Ralph Lauren. Then we kind of segue into this, I call it a media area at this point. Uh, lamps, Ralph Lauren as well throughout. Um, we have some records, classical. We got some R&B, rap. I got these um, edifier speakers. The speaker stands were five bucks. I bought them locally here from a guy. I uh, got a steal on those and I just repainted them. Kind of a matte black. You'll see some Funko Pops throughout too, some collectibles. Uh, we have a projector, which I'm still trying to figure out what to do with. Here's the dining space over here. The plan is projected off that wall, uh, but it needs to be a little closer to work out. So still brainstorming there. And then the record player, turntable, Audio Technica. Starry nights there, Van Gogh. Transition over here. This is where we eat. Um, we got the bar stools here, the swivel, so you're always in the action. Um, I haven't got to play cards much at this table, but um, be great for cards, entertaining, having drinks there, Santorini on the wall. Got my bike here road bike. Good way to exercise and get around in the city in the springtime here. And then this space opens up into uh, kind of my work station and my media area. And here I'll give you kind of a view of the space here. I'm still backing up 
but it's a pretty big space. This apartment is about a thousand square feet. Start here, uh, got the money tree, and then another um, tree here, I forget the name of it. Um, had to get it out of direct sunlight. These floor to ceiling windows offer a lot of sunlight and a lot of heat. Um, and so being a beginner in the plant uh, space, I'm learning. Uh, we got the entertainment system here. That's a 65 inch Samsung QLED uh, TV. It's a pretty good picture. I know OLED is better. Maybe in the near future here, I might be able to upgrade. Got some knickknacks, PlayStation controllers. We got the PS5 and the Xbox there. Best of both worlds. Over here, we just have a Chase. Got that from the World Market here in Kansas City. It's about a $500 Chase. Um, the Dyson Air Purifier. I just keep it by the window, it blows in fresh air, but it also purifies the air in your space too. So um, good for uh, filtering out impurities. Some Casa Luna kind of sprays there for breeze. This couch is Ashley brand. It's kind of this sort of almost like a felt material, maybe a suede, Alcaterra, not sure. More Ralph Lauren on the floor and the throws and the pillows. Here's my workstation. Got an ergonomic desk here. You can kind of lift this and it'll rise and drop. I figured I'd save some money with this version versus the version that will automatically do it. Um, captain's chair here, super comfortable throughout the day. Being that I sit here most of the day, it's something that needed to be uh, comfortable for me. I need to figure out cord management there. Got my Mac as well. Fake plants here, just a little shelving. And then you can see out the window there how vast that is. Um, there's a not, lot of natural light that comes in. Again, these are floor to ceiling windows. Let me segue this way. This little corridor here. Got my um, mirror here. I'm not sure where it's from. I can't remember. A couple skate decks. Used to skate back in the day. Uh, got the shower here in the bathroom. Everything nice and clean. Just a simple bathroom, really. I love the colors. The rug here, I think, accents the colors really well, adds a pop of color, but not too much. Then this way is the bedroom. House of Cards reference there on the flag. Samsung 50 inch TV there. I got the sound bar and the Apple TV set up. There's some books, more Funko Pops. This is a little reading nook that I'm kind of working on here. Again, I just moved in, so I'm kind of trying to get the space together. More floor, floor to ceiling windows. The windows here vent. I don't have a balcony. I don't love that they vent, but I do love now that I have more than one window that vents, so I can get kind of a cross breeze, cross ventilation here in the space in my old apartment. It just had the floor to ceiling windows in the living room and that was it. Got some wall art there. Full size bed. More Google smart features here in the bedroom. This is the closet. Also a pretty nice size on the closet. Again, it's enough for me. I'd say this is bigger than a lot of closets, especially here in the city. So we'll figure out more to do with kind of organization, but for me, it works. Here's another view of the space. I've slept here for about a week now, and I can say that I get pretty good sleep in here. It's a really, really nice space. It stays warm. I don't have to turn on heat or air conditioner too often. 
with the floor to ceiling windows, it usually kind of regulates the temperature. So right now it's comfortable in here with no AC, no heat on. And yeah, that's the space. So here's the space at night. As you can see, everything's a little more dim. Suited for nighttime. Here's the bedroom. Now the bulbs in here don't match, but they will. The one on the left has got color options. The other one does not. So I'll be replacing the one that does not have the colored options so that it does and then we can get those warmer tones at night. Apple TV soundbar setup. I do have a projector here in the front room that I usually ran in the sleep area, so I'm, I'm gonna consider that maybe in the future. Again, here's the living room space. Bathroom. It's got that bay that can light up or the overhead light, which I, I usually keep off. kitchen and you have the options there in the Google home which if you don't have some, some sort of smart home you should invest in one be able to control everything yeah. there's the front door space nothing going on over there come over here kind of got the console area with the ps5 xbox kind of lit up there i got some cord management i still have to work on but it's pretty cool i think the camera kind of distorts things maybe makes them seem a little bit different than what they do in real life but here's the desk area i call it a workstation i just have a spot lamp there that i kind of propped up on the wall to be able to give me some light on the keyboards if I work into the evening time, which I did tonight. So that helps kind of a nice city view. My apartment faces south, so that's South Kansas City I'm looking at. I faced north for a number of years. And then again in here, also that same south view. So yeah, here's the apartment at night. 